Hey, Pete Koch here, breaking it down. Do you like football? Do you care about football? Do you know anybody who does? Well, I'm going to discuss football and concussion. It's that difficult subject that needs to be addressed. I'm going to break it down. Coming up now. Hey guys, Pete Koch here, breaking it down, talking about concussion in football. You know, the movie Concussion, starring Will Smith, based on a book by Dr. Bennett Amalo. Uh, I was, I read that book as soon as it came out years ago. Bennett Amalo it was the medical examiner in Pittsburgh when a Hall of Fame center of the Pittsburgh Steelers, uh, Mike Webster, died sort of tragically. He actually died of heart disease, but his life had really fallen apart. Sort of the issues in his life were emotional and mental, cognitive, his ability to think. During the examination, Dr. Amala did something sort of extraordinary. He de decided to look at the brain in a certain way, he discovered that the brain had what he calls CTE, chronic brain encephalopathy. It means his brain was really damaged and you almost, you never see it. It's such a rare disease. And then when you see it, it's in really old people maybe really old boxers, people have been beat up. And so why would this man who's, I think he was 49 or 50, it, it's just impossible that he would have it. Well, how could this be? And uh, not long later, uh, one of his teammates, Terry Long, also an offensive lineman, Terry Long, who uh, he died tragically, violently. He committed suicide by drinking uh, antifreeze. He was young also and um, he was a friend of mine. I, I, I competed against both these men for years in the trenches and uh, Terry Long and I got to know each other uh, when we played in the, the Blue-Gray All-Star game our senior year in college. This picture behind me, um, 52, that's Mike Webster. I'm trying to back down a pass and that's Mike Webster blocking me. And on the other side is Terry Long. I had this picture blown up years ago when those men were alive, who knew? It's a, it's a sad reminder of how lucky I am. There's been others, the teammates of mine that I've lost to this disease, uh, including Tom McHale, who was a teammate of mine at the University of Maryland, who later went on to play for years with the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He also died tragically young, and it was discovered that he had uh, CTE. Most famously, Junior Seau. Um, but there's many, many others who have died very young. And this subject, it breaks my heart. And people ask me now, what do I think about letting their son play football? And, you know, Ben Amalu wrote an editorial recently published in the New York Times, I believe, where he said he doesn't think anybody should play football prior to the age of consent. It's, prior to the age of, of 18. In other words, you know, the way it works now, right, is that uh, mom or dad can sign a consent form and little Johnny can play. I started playing when I was seven. And if things went the way that Ben and Amalu thinks they should, it would end football the way we know it in short time. I don't think he's right. I don't think that's the way to go. His argument is that the brain doesn't, and the skull, for that matter, don't fully develop until age 18 at least. I'm sure he's right. Science will provide us with more information as the years go by. My position is wait at least until your child is uh, the age of puberty, goes through puberty, you know, 13, 14. I think that makes a lot of sense. I don't. To me, it doesn't matter much if your kid plays football prior to that age. Flag football is great, but a variety of sports is really important too. I sure want kids to be safe and I sure don't want to see football go any place. It's, it's just too important a game. It's a great game. So much good comes from it. Build values, you learn to work together. You learn to struggle with one another uh, against a common opponent. So I'm passionate about football and how good it is for society, for those kids that want to play it. Uh, but it does break my heart. And this picture is an incredible reminder of how lucky I am. Well, that's me. 
And that's my opinion today. It could change. But that's the way I feel right now. My passion is the same as it's always been about football. I believe in it. I'm saddened by the loss, the premature loss of some of my uh, my teammates and, and cohorts. But uh, I think science will help us get through this and understand best how to um, avoid the best we can brain injury. There's already been plenty of rule changes, as most people who follow football understand, and there'll be more to come. So uh, let's uh, let's keep the faith, you know, and and believe that uh, football will continue to get safer and better for all involved. The game is just too great and too important. Uh, well, I'm Pete Koch, breaking it down. See you next time.